So now that we have an understanding about what a beta series correlation is, we can move on to using some AFNI tools to actually construct our beta series. All that is, is it's stringing together all these different beta estimates and we're kind of making an artificial time course of all those beta estimates concatenated together. We've done this by using this stim times underscore im option in 3 dd Convolve. So remember, instead of taking the average of all the individual beta estimates across all the trials, we're estimating an individual beta for each trial. We can look in a certain voxel, a certain region of interest, and then say, where is there a similar pattern of these individual beta estimates across the brain? So, the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to open up this statistical data set, just show you kind of what it looks like. All right, so first we have our anatomical image, and we also have our statistical data set. So within this we have a bunch of different things that have been output, and notice that there are many regressors here. That's because for each one we had a bunch of different trials for that particular regressor. So for the left button presses, for example, I have a total of 28 different instances of that occurring. And therefore, since I use stim times underscore im, I have 28 individual beta weights. So the ones I'm interested in, the actual beta weights, are these COFs, right? There's a TSTAT COF. The COF is the actual beta weight. And those go from 15 up until 69. So 15 to 69, yes. So what we want to do is use 3D bucket and call this uh, left, let's see here, let's call this left betas. And within this, we are going to extract everything in the statistical data set using parentheses and brackets from 15.69 and then in parentheses put a 2 to make it go up by steps of 2 so I avoid all those t-stat little sub bricks and only grab the sub bricks that have beta weights in them. Okay, so let's do a quick 3D info to make sure that it did the right thing. I'm going to make this verbose so that I get everything. And left betas. So here, yes, we only have the left ones with the co-Fs, which are, in fact, the beta weights. Okay. So that's what we'll be using for the next step, where we'll actually take the time course of all those betas and then correlate it with every other voxel in the brain.